and get it together, wild ones. It's Bernadette, and I'm here with your Saturday Pick a Card Tarot reading for February 13th, 2021. And you know what? The mama bear is fixing to come out. You guys, you're scurring me because here's what's happened. The imagination card has come inverted. And I, uh, wow, it can't be that way. We are going to turn this card around and around and around and around. Uh, yeah, can I get a witness? Because, y'all, this is, okay, so let, for those of you that are just joining me, I'm Bernadette, <laughs> and you come to the scolding channel. I'm really not scolding you all. I'm not. But I, when I, when I see a card like this come inverted, it scares me a little bit for you guys, because remember, I'm reading for the collective, right? And this won't resonate with some of you, um, although, I, you know, I've got to believe there's something in everyone's life that can resonate with some part of a, you know, of a reading every day in every way. It does for me. But this is the most lighthearted, childlike, inner child, jubilant, creative, inspirational dreamer card in my entire deck. Now, having said that, let me say this. Oh, oh, and um, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Where's my Southern hospitality? Thank you for joining us. And for those of you that have always been here, oh, you know I love you. Okay, so this is the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck, right? And, um, you know, the chakra today is the, uh, the third eye chakra. And in, in my deck are um, 78 traditional tarot cards, but they all have animal, uh, you know, spirit, totem, and power animals that wanted to be those rider weight cards. And then there are 22 bonus cards. So this card is actually in one of the add-on packs. This card is actually in one of the add-on packs. And, um, you know, when this card first came out, when I introduced it, what I was trying to get to was I, I, I just couldn't find a dragon. My you, lordy be, you don't even know what I went through trying to find a dragon. And of course, a dragon had to be in the ark. It's just not an ark without a dragon. Like there is, there is no life without dragons. Dragons are life, like a really good Malbec. Okay. So, uh, I, put, <laughs> I put this card on Facebook and people went buck wild I, and it was, it, it was polarizing. Like the people who loved it, they were like, we love it. It could be a dragon. And the people who didn't love it, they, I'll never forget this. I say it often. This lady, one lady called it a demented Teletubby. So, <laughs> but that really went to perspective. You know, what do you really see when you're looking in this card? And some people see the yellowing teeth and they see the fangs and, you know, they see that what I see are pink, cute pink, pink, pinkish purple polka dots. They're like, it's got acne. It's got cystic acne. It's got blemishes. You know, I'm like, come on y'all. So, but at the end of the day, we, this amazing dragon flew in. We had this like super Khaleesi kind of dragon in the arc now, um, which I love and have gotten crazy good feedback on. And then I was like, well, I just love this card and I love the character and it, it, and the character keeps talking to me and I know it wants to be in the deck. And I was like, you know what? There's no rule. There's nobody defining this deck. How many, you know, all the other add-on packs had 12 cards. Why can't one add-on pack to have 13 cards? It's me and the spirit animal totem, you know, the spirit animal allies. It's our deck until it gets into your hands and it's your deck. But all of the support and all of the energy and the thinking about it and dreaming about it that came from you guys during the Kickstarter campaign, that created a thought, uh, you know, uh, a thought entity. It's a living, breathing thing. So I knew that ultimately, even those of you that think it looks like a demented Teletubby, you would ultimately make good friends and, and get in a really nice relationship with this animal, right? Because I, I am of the opinion, not that it's my opinion, but I asked the animal allies and they told me that you can have any kind of spirit totem or power animal you want. If you want to have, you know, a beta fish that actually, you know, has legs like a, a, a goat and horns like a bull or whatever, that's your, that, that's your animal. You, you, you get in relationship with your animal and see, Hop says the same thing. Um, <clears throat> so, um, you can have whatever animal you want, but when, when the imagination card came through and said, look, this card is very specifically about this. Look at all the child bright colors in it. Look at all the fun colors, even kind of the candy cane, you know, little twisty horns on the top, um, that look like, kind of look like those Astro Pops we used to get when we were kids, like the peppermint version of it or a long peppermint stick or whatever. And, and this card is meant to like stimulate your laughter and your imagination and just your wonder, you know, it's, it's, uh, that's what it's for. So when it's inverted, 
I was like, mm, that's not good. And it's, it's not good because it's right. It, we're, you know, tomorrow's Valentine's day y'all. Now there will be some of you that don't give a fig about Valentine's day. And some of you issue it totally. You just reject it totally. It's man-made it's commercial. It's this, it's that. Okay. That's fine. Um, but you know, a lot of the world digs it and a lot of the world uses this day as a vehicle to express themselves in ways that they might not feel comfortable expressing on other days, but they feel comfortable on this day because it's the day that you're supposed to, or you should, or you have to, or hey, you even really want to, right? Okay. So w when this card is inverted, what imagination told me today is you're letting other people define you. And that is especially not good uh, during a time of love, which, you know, I, I'm officially naming the day before Valentine's Day, like, um, <laughs> we'll call it the precursor to Valentine's Day. Um, some may even call it, oh, you know, the foreplay of Valentine's Day, but you did not hear that here. So, uh, how, how does that happen to a person? Well, I know, listen, I've been married twice. I've, I've, I'm a dating fiend. I haven't been, you know, in a few years, you know, you get a certain age and you live in Gainesville, Florida, you know, there's not a whole lot around here to date, but, um, you know, I, I understand what it's like to be like, I'm never, ever going to fall in love again. And I'm never going to expose my heart like that again. And I'm never, I have said, I'm never probably more than I've said y'all. And I've probably said y'all about a billion D and a half times, right? There's something going on in, 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 and I'm telling you that has to do with everybody and not, this, not just because you can go on the supposition. Well, nobody's life is perfect. There are always going to be parts of your life that you don't love, that you feel, you know, you wish were different. You wish were better. So, or, or not even there at all, or that would come in and they're not there. It's not about that. It's about letting other people define you, but it specifically has to do with love, what you love, how you love yourself, who you love, who you don't love. No, no. Other people don't get to define that for you. Well, they can do whatever they want to do, but you, you're not allowed. Mama Bear says, the burn addiction says, you are not allowed to let other people define you. Let's say that you, oh goodness me, this is the greatest. So this, I'll, I'll, I have a psychic practice, my psychic community in practice. I mean, I've, I've got clients all over the world. Thank goodness. I'm so fortunate for a robust client list, but you know, I'm in a college town. So when there's not a pandemic and you know, college kids are here and so on and so forth, I get, I get a lot of the college, especially the girls. So this girl came in one day and, uh, just very be God, beautiful, deep olive skin, these gorgeous, luminous brown eyes, a brown color I have never seen before. And she took one look at me and I looked at her and I smiled and I said, welcome, just like that. And she said, this kid just melted on the floor. I, I had to get down on my knees and see if she was okay. Are, are you in pain? Are you this? Well, <laughs> this kid had gotten through medical school, was now a doctor. And the thought of actually going to practice being a doctor sent her into those kind of vapors. She was inconsolable, uncontrollable. You know what she wanted to do? What her grandparents do in their country. They have a restaurant and her parents weren't having it. Oh no, 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 no. We have a restaurant because we didn't have choices in my generation. You have choices in your generation and you're gonna be a doctor. You're gonna be the first person in this family to be a doctor. So she became a doctor. She never liked it one step of the way. She just was miserable the whole time. And she got to graduating when she, you know, at least it was okay in school. You know, when you're young, you can think, well, it's still a year away. It's still two years away. It's still six months away. But then you get to go time. You get to like, that's it. We're done. And she just was in full on. I, I even want to say she was going through some kind of PTSD. I really do because she was going to go back to her country and practice being a doctor and then, or, or try to get, you know, a residency or, you know, whatever they have to do here to get hired, so on and so forth. And this kid was like, ready to be like done with life, literally done with life. So, um, we got her calmed down, so on and so forth. But, but what that has to do with today's reading is this, 
I understand she's young. I understand why her parents would want her to be what she is. I, I do. I work with people from all over the world. I, I understand different cultures very well. I love it. It's a passion of mine. I love bringing the information to you all about the myths and the legends and the, you know, the meanings and symbolism of all the cultures that, you know, have that animal in their culture. I just, it's one of the greatest joys of my life. And, um, so I get it. I get the whys and the wherefores, but at the end of the day, this is this girl's life and it's her spirit and it's her soul. And she just had let others define her for such, from such an extent. She was really ready to exit stage, right? She was not in a good place. Now, Am I saying you're in that place today? No, but you might be. You might, there might be a time looming in front of you or a person looming in front of you or a relation, something looming in front of you where you're just like ready to snap or you're depressed or you're, you know, at all, add anything in between, which is why the imagination card has come inverted. But by tomorrow, when love, you know, by midnight, in whatever country you're in and whatever, you know, time zone you're in, do your ritual work because it is time to turn this card around where you are happy, happy, joy, joy. You've got your imagination back. You've got your confidence up under you, no matter what you want to be, what you want to do, how you want to help other people. That This is the card. And it is, uh, you know, when you start talking about love, you, you you're, you're talking about, I can't prove this to you, but I believe it's the most powerful emotion in the world. And I believe when you get a group of people together that are truly heart focused, heart centered on, on a cause, on a person, on a something that they love all together, and you get that kind of deep emotion brewing, there's nothing that can beat it. There is nothing that can beat it. I mean, Listen, I come from a Jewish family. You know, the Holocaust stories that I read and, and was introduced to as a kid, the compassion and the love of the people that, you know, put their own families at risk, put their own lives at risk out of love for another human being, out of love for their countrymen. Uh, you know, it, 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 and, and those, listen, those stories are across the board in every culture, but that's, you know, they're, they're awe-inspiring. That's it. You're going to inspire your own awe today. You, you are going to, you are going to, you, yes, you are. I don't know how you're going to do it, but you're for real going to do it. Mama Bear says, <laughs> I'm just like, y'all, if you've been watching me since I started my channel, I never say you're going to do, you should do, you will do. I never, ever say that. It's not for me to say. And, and it is stepping out on a limb to, to say that, but that's what the animal allies are telling me. And they're telling me, you cannot say it enough and you cannot say it strongly enough because within the collective of you, the wild pack, there, there is enough uh, empaths. There are enough deeply sensitive, psychic, medium, shamanic journeyers. Just listen, there are about 500 names that all mean the same thing, right? That's a tremendous amount of electricity of power. And, oh, I said the word power was 1333. Just remember it. This video was at 1333 when I said the word power. How about that? Okay. So whatever this is, and, and this may be like, oh, I was just having a conversation with a friend of mine. I, I did not follow my own thing. I apologize. Uh, I am working on it. <laughs> but I made a pledge that I was going to do something new and I was going to start learning my, um, you know, my Indian flute, my Native American flute. I hadn't, have, I hadn't had two seconds to do that. That's the story I tell myself. That's baloney. I have two seconds to run up to the pizza place that I love so much and get an eggplant pizza. I've got two minutes to, you know, watch when I was binge watching, you know, any of the, the, true crime series that I binge watch. I made time for that. And so the stories that we tell ourselves are not, they're not necessarily our reality. And we are really, we are, we are, we are, we are putting up blocks. Like Rumi says, your job is not to seek love. Your job is to remove all blocks that keep it from you. So whatever these blocks are that you have guys have going. And again, it may be something life changing and it may be something you know, as simple as this friend of mine and I were talking and uh, I just ordered, I've wanted one for 12 years. And my good friend, Catherine Skaggs, check her out, katherineskaggs.com, K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E-S-K-A-G-G-S.com. 
she's a shamanic practitioner from way back. She's the most incredible artist. She is the artist um, behind the mythical goddess Tarot, top 10 best-selling, you know, goddess deck of all time. And uh, she she paints drums. Well, she's going to paint a drum for me. I've known her for 12 years for crying out loud. Uh, 13, maybe. We've been close to your soul sisters for all that time. And I've wanted to drum. Why am I just buying this drum today? I don't know. But this other friend and online and I, because he also got a drum kit. And we were talking about how, you know, we we keep telling ourselves we don't need it. We'll do this. We'll do that. But in our spirit, we really want that. What is that block that's keeping us from what we really want? It's certainly not imagination with me. <laughs> As y'all know, I can dream up some of the craziest stuff. Um, but uh, I don't know what it is, but do it. And please, I'm begging you do it because you're going to show up. You will... You know, this card, right? How many times have you guys seen me turn a card this way to the camera? And I've done it, what, three times on this one? This card, this energy, the upside down, it's got us all kerfuffled and bamboozled and gobsmacked and not in a positive way. So get your imagination on, get your inner child on, turn this card around and focus on what it is that you truly love and that you want in your life that will bring you awe and will inspire you and just make you giggle. If it's a chocolate, you know, little morsel of something and that's all it's going to take, rock on. If it you want to move to a completely different country, rock on. It doesn't matter, but that's the story of today. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you don't feel scolded, <laughs> but <laughs> I kind of heard my mom's where she's like, you know, when I was dragging, she'd say, listen, light a fire under your and let's get going. And that's really what this is. Light a fire under your and let's get going. And this card will be there to say, look, I meant to have it upright. This card, y'all, What I'm doing some seriously sacred work tonight. I'm firing up my fire pit. Well, if it's not raining on us, I'm going to fire up my fire pit. And I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it. And I'm going to clear this crazy energy. Um, but really, you won't look like a demented Teletubby. I promise. I promise. You smile as big as you want. Grin, snot, because you're laughing so hard. Tears run out of your eyes and get your mascara if you run it all. It doesn't matter. This is your job. This is your mission. This is your mission. Should you choose to accept it, but you're going to have to accept it. So, all right. I love you guys. I really, really do love you. And I can't, <laughs> I can't wait to see what comes on Valentine's Day. I can't wait. I just can't wait. 149 animals and somebody's going to come out on Valentine's Day. So pick up your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. Um, subscribe to my nutty YouTube channel. And um, as always, stay wild.